In this video, you will learn the TRIOS Design Studio workflow for two adjacent restorations. The TRIOS Design Solution is a complete digital workflow with fully integrated CAD CAM modules. The automatic design of crowns, inlays and onlays has been improved and now also supports cases where the restoration has only one or no neighbours, or if two restorations are next to each other in the posterior region. In this video, we will show the latter. To create two single restorations in one order, select two teeth in the order form. Then go to Anatomy and select the type of restoration. A crown in our case. In the Material tab, select the material with which you intend to work. The design of the restoration starts after performing scanning. First, you have to define the margin line. The tooth you work on is marked in the tooth selector and can be changed at any time. You can set the margin line automatically using auto detection or manually with the click and go option. When you have set the margin line for the first tooth, click on another tooth in the tooth selector or simply click next to set the margin line for the next restoration. Having the margin line set, Click Next to move on to the insertion direction. When ready, click Next to move on to the anatomy design step. The software automatically generates valid designs for both restorations. You can select different available teeth designs from the Smile Library selector. Simply click on the one you prefer and the software will create a valid design. Now, if needed, you can also use the other available tools to adjust the design. The tooth that you work on is marked in the tooth selector. To change tooth, click either on the icon in the tooth selector or on the tooth design itself. The transform tool will help you with setting the tooth position. Use the control spheres to move the tooth or click on it and drag it. You can use the Morph tool and the Wax Knife to change morphology, add or remove material from the design, as well as to smooth it. You can freely switch between teeth and tools while designing. In the Contacts tool, you will find options like Adjacent, where you can set the values of contact points, as well as the shape and size, if a tooth requires it. Occlusal will allow you to adjust the design to the antagonist. When you work on both types of contact points, it is good to use the Show Distance Map slider to have it visualized. At the end, go to the Automatic Tools here you can activate the minimum thickness map. The red area that may appear will show where minimum thickness is violated. Now you can enforce minimum thickness to meet the material requirements by clicking the minimum thickness play button. After enforcing the minimal thickness, always check how it may have affected the design. When the designs are ready, you can check the dynamic occlusion using the Virtual Dynamic Articulator. You can also enable Guide by Design to have movements guided by design if necessary. Then click on the Play button to see the occlusal contacts during jaw movements. Having the designs ready, move to the next step, which is the CAM module, and start production. Thank you for watching.